Hello everyone, I'm Jasjeet and today we are going to compare two professions which can get you a permanent residency in Australia. One is electrical engineering technician and second is electrical engineer. I will introduce you to both professions and then I will compare them based on five measures. One is qualification and English language requirement. Two is course fee. Three is pathway to permanent residency. Four is salary. And five is prerequisites required for this course. Let's get started. An electrical technician assembles, tests and maintains electrical systems such as electric cars, power generating stations, your laptop, and your mobile phone etc. So they do most of the hands-on or practical work. On the other hand, an electrical engineer designs electrical systems and also supervises the tasks performed by a technician. So they do both practical and theoretical work. In both professions you can work for major energy and power companies, electrical vehicle companies like Tesla, BMW, Audi renewable technology like wind and solar energy. You can also work in defense on electrical components of missiles, weapon systems and radars. And there is also work in the mining sector. Now let's compare these two professions. First measure is qualification and English language requirement. To become an electrical technician, you have to do a two-year advanced diploma or a two-year associate degree. You need an overall IELTS academic score of 6 with no score less than 5.5 in four modules. On the other hand, to become an electrical engineer, you have to do a four-year bachelor's degree and you need an overall IELTS academic score of 6.5 with no score less than 6 in any of the four modules. Second measure is course fee. The course fee is in between 30,000 to 40,000 Australian dollars per year for both professions. But it's the length of the course that makes a big difference in the study costs. For an electrical technician, the total study cost is approximately 70,000 Australian dollars. And for an electrical engineer, it is approximately 140,000 Australian dollars. The fees can vary slightly depending on the choice of institution. Third is pathway to permanent residency. The first step to apply for a permanent residency is getting a positive migration skills assessment. For electrical engineer, the skills assessment body is called Engineers Australia. After completion of your degree, you will have to register with them and then apply for migration assessment online. You will have to provide your personal details such as your passport, your passport size photograph, your qualification details like your transcripts and degree certificates, evidence of English language test results with overall requirement of IELTS score of 6 and scores of 6 in each module. No work experience is required for skills assessment. The assessment fee is approximately 300 Australian dollars. After your skill assessment is positive, you can then apply for a skilled independent visa 189 or 190 as a pathway to permanent residency in Australia. For electrical technician, the skills assessment body is called Trade Recognition Australia. After completion of studies, you can apply for a job ready program which involves four steps. Step 1 is provisional skills assessment where they will assess your qualification and any placement or employment that you have undertaken. During your course, there is a minimum requirement of 360 hours of placement or employment that should be completed for a successful outcome of this step. The fee is around 300 Australian dollars. Once you have a positive provisional skills assessment outcome, you can use this to apply for a temporary graduate visa 485 that will give you unlimited work rights to live and work in Australia for about 18 months. You can proceed to step 2 only if step 1 is complete. Step 2 is job ready employment where you are responsible to get a job as an electrical technician. You can apply for this step 
only after you have secured a job and also either you hold or have applied for a 485 graduate visa. Your employer should also be approved by Trades Recognition Australia. 1725 hours of employment is required in 12 months period to complete the step. After 6 months into your job, you should provide a progress report on the skills that you have gained during your job, which will be used by the assessor to test your knowledge and skills in the next step. The fees for this step is 500 Australian dollars. Step 3 is job ready workplace assessment where a registered assessor will assess your abilities to be able to work at a required skill level. They can either conduct a technical interview or observe your practical skills or do both. The fee is about 2000 Australian dollar. Step 4 is job ready final assessment where they provide you with a formal outcome of your skills assessment which can be used to apply for PR. You must have completed 1725 hours of your employment as an electrical technician over a minimum of 12 months from your employment start date. The fees for this step is $150. After successful completion of these four steps, you can then apply for a skilled independent visa 189 or 190 as a pathway for permanent residency in Australia. Fourth measure is salary packages. For electrical engineer, the average salary is roughly between 80 to 100,000 Australian dollar per year. For electrical technician, the average salary is roughly in between 60 to 85,000 per year. In summary, electrical technician course will reduce your study cost to half and will get you PR twice as fast as the electrical engineering course. After you get PR, you can resume your studies to become an electrical engineer by enrolling in a bachelor's degree at a government subsidized price which is so much less than what international students have to pay and it is most likely that you will only have to do a two more years of study. And your associate degree or advanced diploma will be upgraded to bachelor's degree. Fifth measure is the prerequisites for these courses. For electrical engineer, you need to have passed class 12th with maths and science subjects with average score of 65%. For electrical technician, you need to have passed class 12th with maths and science subjects. There is no minimum percentage requirement. It's now time for the bonus step. Make sure that the institute you choose is registered with the Commonwealth Register of Institutions and courses for overseas students as this is important requirement for PR. You should look at the courses and universities on Study in Australia website. Some courses are only in certain states. I observe that the electrical technician course is only available in Queensland. So do your own research. I have provided the links in the description below for all the useful websites. Comment below which courses you are interested to know more about and I will make a separate video about them. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.